John Jan Kinelli. This is the Hastings 6702 digital voltmeter and phasing set. Make sure when you're using this unit you abide by your company's safety policies and always wear your PPE. This unit must be used with hot sticks and while using make sure you keep proper distance with the cord from any energized tools, equipment, and grounds. With the Hastings 6702, you can add different resistor sets on this, each valued at 40 kV. You can add up to five sets for a total of 240 kV. Also, for high potting cable, we've got a high pot adapter that goes on here. You can put this on the high pot mode with the adapter, then you can high pot cable. We've got bushing adapters for 15 and 25 kV, and we've also got 35 kV bushing adapters. And of course, it comes with the conductor hooks. The operation of the 6702 is started by the two buttons on top. The on-off button and three functions with the other button on the other side. When the 6702 is first turned on, it goes through a self-check, and then it checks the battery, and then it turns on to AC voltage 40 kV as a default. Involved in the text in the beginning, it asks to touch the tips together. What this does is senses how many resistor sets are installed on the unit and automatically gives reads accordingly. When adding resistor sets onto the 6702, add the necessary or needed amount of resistors before you turn the unit on. Make sure the tips are touching. Turn the on button, and after its self-check, it will sense the amount of resistors added and show the new voltage limit in the bottom corner of the window. After the unit's been turned on, it'll default to the AC voltage function. Now to turn the backlight on, push the on button down for a few seconds. That will enable the backlight. At the bottom of the screen, we have added a bar graph. Now this is in addition to the digital readout. Now to change functions, push the menu button down for a few seconds. That will give you three choices. Push the button, the arrow will scroll down to your choice, leave it there, and it'll turn that function on. Now when high potting, you must use the high pot adapter on the metered unit. And there's been a couple changes to this unit when doing the high pot function. Number one, it holds your starting voltage when you're high potting inside of the bar graph window and number two, it will show 100% of your source voltage. Here we've got a setup with a pad mount transformer. We will be simulating a faulted cable on this 7200 volt system. We've got the Hastings 6702. It's our primary voltmeter uh, phasing set. We'll be using this with a high pot adapter on it to find our faulted cable. This is our pad mounted transformer that we have set up to show a simulated fault on our parked cable or we can show good cable on our parked cable on the feed through. We are energized through our installed elbow on our pad mount. We will be pulling our feed voltage off of this other bushing on the pad mounted transformer. This way we can energize our park cable through our high pot adapter to show whether it's good or bad cable. This is going to be a demonstration of a good cable using our high pot adapter. We will plug in the non metered unit on the feed through and then the metered unit will be plugged into the source end and we can watch as the cable equalizes, the charge equalizes from our park cable to our source voltage. Okay, go on. Coming hot. Now 
Now you can see as the cable is being energized, it's equalizing the charge from the source to our park cable. In a perfect world, that's going to go down to zero. What we're looking for is to charge down to a low read and stabilizing. And you can see we started at about 8 kV and it's down below 1 kV. So this demonstrates a good cable. We're going to come off of this and then we're going to remove the charge on our park cable. Coming off. Go ahead and remove yours. I'm going to install the high pot adapter with the metered unit on the cable. The resistor side is going to go to ground and we can watch the, the charge come off of our park cable. Okay, our park cable has been discharged. This is a demonstration of a faulted cable. What we're going to see once we go on, we're going to see the cable charge and then fault, then the charge will start over again, which will cause fluctuation in our reads. Go ahead and go on. Coming hot. Our cable's charging. There it's fired off and it's charging all over again. So what you're seeing is a faulted cable that's charging to a certain point. It's firing off to ground and then it starts the charging process all over again, which it, uh, it makes your reads go up and down, which is not consistent. Okay, coming off. Now we can bleed off our cable. Bleeding down. Okay, our cable's been discharged. In this simulation, we're going to be showing a bolted fault. So we're going to have a direct connection from our park cable to a ground source. What's going to show is we will keep a high read, full voltage throughout the whole test. Okay, go ahead and go on. Coming hot. We started out at full system voltage and we are continuing full system voltage. That means we have a bolted fault. We've got a direct contact to ground on our park cable. We will come off and then we, for safety's sake, we will bleed off any charge that is left on our park cable. Coming off. Okay. Bleeding off. Coming off.